Hi, Jason here. In this video, we are going to do some tests with the latest AI detection tools and see which one is the best at the moment. At the time of doing this video, it is May, middle of May, 2023. So we're gonna test a few of them out, but we're gonna do our best to trick them by generating content with ChatGPT, and we're gonna use GPT-4, and I'm gonna use all of the tricks that I often see people put in the comments under my videos, saying, oh, if you just say this to ChatGPT, it will definitely give you something that will pass AI detection, so we're gonna try it all. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get ChatGPT uh, to get busy writing us a small article, and then uh, while it's doing that, we're going to have a look at what's been happening in the world of AI detection tools over the last few months, because it has gone a bit crazy. So let's get ChatGPT going. Can you please write me a 500 word article on how AI generated content can help small business owners accelerate the growth of their company? Full stop. I want you to write this article as if you were a human and also add in the occasional bit of light humor. And there we go. So that's what, you know, a lot of people say that, oh, if you get it to write, you know, as if, as if you were a human, it will just do it. Well, it's not true and I'll show you why in a minute. So we'll leave that to get busy. That's writing away. AI, your invisible business partner with a sense of humor. Okay, well, that's an interesting title. I didn't actually mean put it in the title, but never mind. We'll leave it running. And um, yeah, let's take a look at Google Trends because Google Trends, if we go here from the 1st of uh, December of last year, obviously when uh, Chat GPT came out, I think they came out on the 10th of December, something like that, but it's just gone whoop, straight up here. We've got a really big interest over the last four months for AI detection in general. And what was interesting actually is in the interest by region, we can see that Kenya, it's really, really uh, of interest. Tunisia, so the African nations here, and then Pakistan, Singapore, and even China, uh, Philippines. So perhaps this is where a lot of the outsourced writing is being done. And as a result, I guess their managers, bosses, or whatever you would like, are, are checking the work. And then if we scroll down to the related queries, Turnitin is kind of the number one thing at the moment, uh, which is what a lot of the education um, people use. Turnitin is not sort of freely available for you to just sign up for. You've got to contact sales and get an account and all of this kind of stuff. So it's really used by sort of universities, schools, colleges, that kind of thing. But um, it is definitely on the rise. People are more interested in detecting AI-generated uh, content. So let's go back now then and see how uh, GPT-4 is doing with our little article. Here it is. It's probably getting to the, the conclusion where it is done. So let's just have a quick look at it and see how good it is, first of all. Uh, if you're a small business owner, you've probably found yourself wishing for a few more hands on deck maybe even a clone or two, or perhaps a reliable partner who doesn't take lunch breaks, works 24 seven and never asks for a raise. Well, good news, that partner exists and it's called artificial intelligence. It's time to set sail towards accelerated growth and let the AI man the helm. Just don't expect it to laugh at your jokes. Um, so it's pretty good, you know, it's kind of upbeat, very sort of human styled, I suppose you could say, with all this sort of humor that, that, that it's been um, putting in. I'd say it's probably put in more uh, analogies and humor than I wanted. But, you know, that is that is a good thing to try and make it seem more human. So now let's start the ball rolling. We're going to go and grab this fresh off the uh, chat GPT production line article. I'm going to copy that. Um, now, I have a whole list of AI detectors, and I'll put a link to this underneath this video, chatgptdetectors.com, and you can just go through and just click on these and go off to all of these different detectors that we've got here. So, but I'm going to try the most common, the, the big boys, if you like, probably some of the better, the better ones, and try out uh, this detection. So there goes our brand new article all about uh, AI. 
Uh, don't need to check for plagiarism, so I'm very confident it won't come up with that. And then we'll just click scan text. Now this is with Winston AI, and we'll leave it to do its thing. It's pretty fast. And then we'll go over to another one. This one is AI Detector Pro. That's the second on our list just down here. Let's try that one. It may not do all of this text because there's quite a lot there. So, but we'll drop in the article. There it is. And then we'll just click analyze, just enter text. Yeah, you can also get it from a URL, but we'll just leave that running. Oh, that one's that one's that means I've got to upgrade to a, a paid plan on that one. So we can't use that. That's fine. There's plenty more where that came from. Originality, I've got a paid account with those guys. Let's just go scan. And we'll leave that running too. So going back to Winston, the scan is completed and let's view our results. So it's very, very confident that this is been oh, this has been written by uh, uh, AI generator, i.e. ChatGPT. So 0% human score. Originality also sees it as the same 99% AI and 1% original. Interestingly, it's the first part that uh, it thinks is original. Interesting. So the other one that's really big and popular is this one, GPT-0. This is pretty tough, pretty hard um, to beat. So let's get the results of that one. It's very, very fast. And this one, it says your text is likely to be written entirely by a human. So there is pretty solid evidence that GPT-0 is not quite as good as everyone's sort of saying out there. I've just taken that straight from ChatGPT, pasted it in, and there's a lot of characters there as well. I've got 3,182 out of 5,000, and it's, and it's gone straight in and said that it is written by human. No, Now then, let's take the next one. This is Crossplag. We'll paste this one in and click check. This is free as well. Now this one, it does say again, this text is mainly written by a human. So to beat these two is pretty simple just by doing what I did. Um, another one here, another one that we can use is a browser one. So if I select this content here and then I go to this uh, little uh, this little one here, this little Chrome plugin called Percent Human. Again, there is a link on my site. We can just analyze it right now. And it's saying it's 100% generated content. So that's not very good either. They're not doing very well. Let's see how OpenAI itself does to, to determine whether or not content generated by its own system. I have no idea what it's going to do. Let's click Submit. And we'll see what it says. The classifier considers the text to be very unlikely AI generated. There you go. So, you know, OpenAI's own detector is not actually able to detect its own generated content, which is why on my site, it's way down here. Um, and people may be thinking like, oh, why does he put it down here? That's because it isn't that great. It isn't that great. Um, then uh, that's so those are all the, like the main ones, really, the big boys, particularly GPT-0, Originality and uh, Winston. The only two that managed to detect that content were Winston and Originality. And then um, the others really just failed pretty badly. Uh, this one, GPT-0, this one, Crossplag. We'll just cross that little bit off there. There we go. And OpenAI themselves, they just, they all failed. And that was using all of the tricks, you know, like uh, uh, using humor and then also asking GPT-4 to write like a human. So out of the best two AI detection tools, Winston um, has got some, you know, nice features. You can, you've got a nice dashboard here. You can see all your projects. Then you can go into them. You can star them. You can see what you've done. And then the date and time and everything. You can also check for um, plagiarism as well. And then um, you've got documents. So you can also uh, upload documents straight into Winston and it will scan them. In fact, if we just go back to a uh, quick scan here like that, you can see you've got file upload and it will do PDF, uh, Word docs, uh, JPEG, even PNG. 
uh, all kinds of different files that you can just put in there. So that's pretty cool. But then with originality, one thing I do quite like, they also have a website scanner. So you can scan an entire website, perhaps better for obviously creators, website publishers and people like that. But you can just scan a, scan a website. You just type in the URL, click scan, and then it will go through the entire site to, to check for um, whatever you want it to check for. And then up here we have the start new scan, but um, at the moment, as far as I can tell, you can't upload a document into Originality for scanning. I'm sure they'll probably bring that out. But when you click Start New Scan, it is literally just paste the content in just here or using this website scanner as well. So that's the two best ones. Once again, you can see the whole list of them right here at chatgptdetectors.com. Link underneath this video uh, for you to just go and test them all out and see which one you find is the best. But clearly from this video and that article that I generated using ChatGPT, uh, Winston and Originality seem to be the better detectors. So that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please do like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next video coming up any second. Thanks for watching.